Uh, Watford 31 attempts. That's the most I've ever had in a Premier League game. That's also the most that Arsenal have ever faced in a Premier League game. And 23 of those came in the second half. Ten on target to Arsenal's four. The expected goals uh, shows the quality of chances that, that Watford had in comparison to Arsenal today. Three times as many touches in the opposition box as well. The second half was an onslaught. Tim, you must have played in games where you felt like you were in control. And then the second half, the picture just completely changes. How do you explain that? You know, it's just the energy, the way Watford come out in the second half. Um, they pressed them high. Uh, they seen on goal kicks that they were, you know, it's clear to see that they're going to make mistakes. And they did. They probed on it. But I just feel that um, they had the momentum. But the 53% possession as well, dominating possession, not only chances, you know, it, they'll be disappointed probably not to get the whole three points. Do you think then, as, as good as Watford were in the second half, that Arsenal actually invited some of those problems onto themselves? <laughs> It's really hard, you know, you, their manager, after that game we're thinking, we're two different teams, they capitulated in the second half Arsenal, didn't win a challenge in the second half. You know, again we talk about tactics, so I would imagine, I wish Jeff had asked the question, what did the manager say at halftime to the Watford players? And they had a tactical plan in the first half, sit off, absorb the pressure, we know we're not going to have most of the ball, and then we can nick something on the break, and they nearly did. But they just, you know, find themselves 2-0 down. The second half, for me, is that, for me, it looked like there was like gloves off, just go and play, guys. We're going to lose 3-0. You know, if we're going to lose two, we might as well lose three. And in the second half, they just became a different team, Watford. But if you're an Arsenal supporter watching that, you must be scratching your head. It was too It's as if this is the first team in the first half, and we'll, but the second team in the second half, they capitulated. They were, they were proper teams don't play like that. Proper teams don't have a half like that in the first half and can do, play like that in the second half. Proper teams just don't do that. You know, they bring on kids. We're, we're questioning bringing on kids. That was a game where 2-1, uh, it was time to dig in and, and, and regroup and make sure we're not going to lose the game. And they should have lost the game in the second half because when the kids came on, they were all over the place. It was like a game of basketball. And I think... Arsenal, if you're an Arsenal supporter, that would deeply, deeply worry you. It, to be so warnings. bad in the second half. There was warnings just with the goal kicks. They were getting caught in possession. They were trying to play one-twos on the edge and, you know, losing it on the edge of the box. And then, you know, how many times do you want to do it? And then you get punished. Um, and that's what gave Watford confidence. See, the first reaction when they conceded the goal, they've had their warnings. You're thinking, why has the manager not come out and said something? But the senior players in that defence for Arsenal... You know, you can't, as a manager, you're hoping that your, your bigger players, your, your experienced players, and they don't have, it doesn't have to be the oldest ones in the team, work it out, we've got a problem here, we're, we're going to concede. It would, we were at the end where they did concede, and it was coming. You could see it mm -hmm. was coming. Why do the big players not say, you know, for 10 minutes, we'll just go along with it and see where that takes us, because persisting with playing out from the back was going to cost them a goal. And they're lucky they only conceded one It's one thing that. to be brave and keep playing that way and believing in that philosophy in the way that it works. But you've got to be set. Like, even when they played it long, they weren't winning the second ball. Either Willock was out of position or someone wasn't around Obama Yang to get the second ball. And it just seemed that Watford could sense that danger and they're like, let's, let's, let's get into them. Let, let's pick up the second balls. Let, let's press them high. Let's do anything we can to win the second ball. And they did. The Curry and Kapui completely dominated Arsenal's midfield in the second half. And you've heard me say this before, you can talk all you want about tactics and formations and people standing in position or out of position, but if you're not first to the ball, you're forever on the back foot. And that was the top of the bottom for, for Arsenal. In that second half, none of them won their individual battles. None of them. My